Hey, Alex, uh, this is going to be just the second game in over three weeks, I think. I mean, you probably never had to deal with anything like this. What, what are the biggest challenges that you found just not being able to get into a rhythm with, with no games on the schedule? Uh, continuing to get better in practice every day. I think that's our main focus right now. You know, we can, we're coming off a tough loss against Gonzaga, um, number one team in the country. Um, we were going into it all prepared and, and came out with a loss. But I think just being able to bounce back from that, um, being able to still prepare, stay locked into our next two scouts and uh, just come ready hungry uh, for these next two games. Hey, Alex. Um, when you came over from Arizona, or when we both came over from Arizona last year, you quickly earned the hearts of Cougar Nation and became one of their favorites. And they kind of knew you would be one of the leaders of the team this year. But what sort of inspired you to take that leadership role and what does it mean for you and what do you do differently? Um, it means everything to me. Uh, just having the trust from the coaching staff and my entire team to be the leader on the floor um, and off the floor and, and just leading this group, it, it means everything to me. And uh, I told the coaching staff this summer, I've had multiple talks with the guys and, and just telling them like, hey, I'm in this, um, we're, we're all in this together. You know, we got one goal at the end of the day. And uh, if you guys give me that trust to, to lead this team, then I'm going to fall into it and dive into it with all my heart. Um, just kind of kind of how, uh, like, my decision to come over here was, you know, um, me deciding to move on from Arizona and then come into this new opportunity. I, I decided to give uh, Brigham Young, uh, you know, my entire heart. Um, I'm going to pour everything I have into it with my energy, um, with, you know, me watching film, with me expanding my game, um, whatever, whatever that may be. Um, I'm just going to give it everything I have. And uh, it, it's, it, it means something really special to me. I don't know if I could put it into words right now, um, just because I'm so focused on our next two games right now, uh, our next game ahead of us. But uh, it, it definitely means the world to me, um, everything to me. Like I said, uh, just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm pouring my entire heart into this season, into the guys, into this coaching staff. I have unbelievable trust in them. Uh, and I'm just excited for what the rest of our season has to come. And who have you sort of tried to emulate? Who have you looked up to as a leader throughout your career? Um, throughout my career, uh, I haven't really, like, at Arizona, I looked at certain players uh, in the league, um, just kind of what they did on and off the floor, um, kind of what I'd read about them, how their interviews went post game, um, what they talk about. Uh, like what their uh, main goals were for the team, how they were trying to, you know, make the guys around them better. Um, guys like, you know, like Steph, like Dame Lillard, Chris Paul, guys who have the ball in their hand. And I mean, they're really great players individually, but I really think that they expand everyone who they play with uh, around them. I think they just expand their game so much. And uh, so just, I mean, following them throughout their careers, uh, I really dove into Dame's game, Steph's game, Fred Van Fleet's game, Chris Paul's game this past summer. And then obviously um, I'm a big fan of Steve Nash. And uh, I watched his old clips over this, this summer, just seeing how I can create for my teammates, um, get them the ball in positions that they're comfortable in, um, that, they're, that they find easy to score in. And uh, I'd, I'd just say those are a few of the players um, that I've looked up through throughout my career. I think uh, coming here, um, being able to, to learn from Coach Feger, from um, Coach Pope, uh, being able to be in the weight room with Coach Shork and just how he's developed me and my body and, and also how he's helped me with my leadership role um, in the weight room and on the court. Uh, just the talks that I've had with all those three coaches um, have, have been a big part in, in you know, my success and, and what I bring to the table. And I think that, uh, I mean, what they're telling me, it, it speaks true. And then I'm just trying to kind of emulate that uh, with how I am on and off the floor um, and how I can be towards these guys. Alex, in the time that you've been at BYU, uh, you've had some pretty memorable battles with uh, St. Mary's. Um, in fact, the last game of the, in the WCC tournament, I think you had to actually play with a broken wrist and it was kind of a disappointing end of the season, obviously. We didn't know it was the end of the season at that point, but what, uh, what do you remember about that game, and what is the challenge that lays before you on, on Thursday going to St. Mary's? I remember how physical they were. Um, I mean, it, it was a battle from start to finish, you know, WCC tournament. 
um, yeah, my, my wrist was a little bit in, in more pain than it is now, but uh, <laughs> thankfully it's healthy now. But uh, they're, they're an extremely physical team. Um, you know, they set a lot of high ball screens. They share the ball really well. They have high talented players. And uh, I mean, just like the game against Gonzaga, it's going to be a battle. And uh, we're going to have to come in on our A game and, and be ready for a fight from start to finish. Uh, Darnell Dixon and Tyler Gibb. Yeah, Alex, St. Mary's, their gym is one of those kind of unique places to play. You know that from being there last year, but there won't be any fans in the stands. Have you guys gotten used to at home and even on the road, just kind of not being influenced that much by um, the environment as it were? Yeah, I think we really have. Um, you know, I, th I think we had to bring a lot more energy from our bench. Um, guys have to be more, more engaged and, you know, you're not getting all that, the, the crowd uh, sensations when you hit a three or hit a couple threes back to back. And it's just, you know, kind of deafening and, and you can't hear. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, I would say that, it, that it's it's tough, but I, I think that we've really done a good job uh, bringing energy from our bench. The guys that you know come in during the game, um, they bring a lot of energy from from the bench, and uh, I think we we do a really good job of keeping that going throughout the game. Alex, have you noticed any differences in the way teams guard you now compared to at the beginning of the season? And if so, how are you working to adapt to that? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, a lot of teams are not trying not to let me get a catch. Um, and then they're, they're kind of sometimes they blitz me off ball screens. Um, but I, like like I saw against Gonzaga, they really weren't try, trying to let me get a catch in some of our offensive concepts. But, you know, we've been practicing throughout this entire week. I've hit a lot of film with Coach Fieger, with Coach Pope. And uh, we've kind of talked about it as a team, how, how we're going to play through that um, if teams do continue to, to throw that defense at me. Um, but I, I just, you know, I, I have all the trust in my coaching staff. So I'm just trying to do what they're telling me out there, trying to trying to do what they show me in film, um, different ways that we can kind of pick apart the defense when they're throwing that, that blitz or not trying to let me get a catch, um, how, how we can play around that. Jeff Call. Yeah, you know, what's it like, uh, Alex, for you and your teammates to see a guy like Wyatt, who, um, you know, obviously now out with, for the season with an injury, to watch him battle so hard to come back after that shoulder injury, to be ready for the season, and then to have another, you know, serious injury like that. What's it been like for you guys to deal with that? It's extremely unfortunate. Uh, Why it's such a, a great teammate and a, a great guy off the court, um, such a hard worker, and uh, you know, our, our whole team was with him um, when he was battling back from his shoulder injury, and, and he finally got back and. We were so excited for him and then uh, to see him go down, it's just, it's extremely unfortunate. And uh, we just want to be there for him throughout this entire process of him coming back uh, off this injury. And um, we, we just want to let him know that we're there for him. We're his brother um, and, and whatever he needs, we're, we're going to be there. Uh, 